Hello, we're in Central Fox with uh, President Vicente Fox, former President of Mexico. Thank you so very much for your time. Um, first of all, uh, I would like to ask you uh, about uh, the debate that we just saw and uh, the event that you're hosting here at Central Fox. Uh, how do you think that debating tournaments or debating events like that can help young people? Well, it's really exciting because you notice immediately how seriously they have prepared themselves how they compete and debate, and more so the many ideas that come through a, a spontaneous uh, debate, a dialogue, uh, which is very different to just reading something. I wish on the summit meetings of uh, the leaders of the world, where I participated many times, it should be like this, more spontaneous, so that real thinking, real ideas uh, will come through, because otherwise it's, uh, it's a little bit boring. So I, I was excited to listen to this kid and the way they express themselves. So um, given uh, your vast political experience, um, what, how do you believe, uh, what do you believe is the best way to engage young people uh, not only with issues only, but also with the political process. Well, I guess the best way to engage him is through any activity that has to do with our physical strength and body, which is most important throughout life, to keep ourselves healthy and strong. Number two, to debate ideas that develop our capacities, our knowledge, and, uh, and uh, through sharing ideas and knowledge, we expand the capacity of a community or a nation to accomplish the right thing. And number three, most important, is its emotions, is the character, it's uh, the values, the ethics, the morals, because at the very end, we are human beings with a body, but with an intelligence and talent, but more so with a spirituality that makes us different to the rest of the creation. So a spirituality, values, and a strong uh, position on, on character and formation is what we need in the world. So during the closing ceremony, you said something that I found very interesting. interesting. Uh, you mentioned uh, the high levels of criminality among young people. How do you believe that debating programs, such as the one, the one's idea runs, could help reduce the problems of criminality among youth? Well, uh, the, to debate means that you have prepared yourself, that you have acquired information, that you have prepared yourself in having all the ideas that you can reach. And that's why the debate at the very end produces the end result of expanded knowledge, of expanded leadership, of expanded capacity to do things. I uh, was referring to those kids in Mexico, those thousands and thousands of kids that have been killed uh, through violence and crime and drugs and the many others that killed them. It's maybe because they didn't have the opportunities that these kids have on, on competing and debating or that kids have just by going to college, university, or kids that are raised within a family that shares values and education with them. Uh, so we, those kids in Mexico were not born criminals. They do not have criminality on their genes, but most of they lost the path somewhere along, or they just didn't get the basic information, the uh, education that they needed to be very positive and constructive human beings. Mm -hmm. And one last question, as uh, the Youth Forum comes to Mexico for the first time, an idea we're trying to expand debating programs in Latin America, uh, how do you, what are your tips for us to best spread a culture of debate in Mexico and Latin America generally? Well, the, the, the best is to do it like you're doing internationally because you find uh, strengths uh, in different cultures, different strengths. We in Latin America, we enjoy life, we're very strong, committed with family values. We, we look at life with uh, joy and optimism. But when you visit Asia or the East, then you see 
uh, how people take life so seriously, how they take education as the most important part of their uh, success in life, and uh, how they are disciplined. So every culture has its assets, has its strengths. So the best of this debate is to cross cultures uh, through the debate. And that's what we saw here. I mean, seeing somebody from the Middle East uh, in a debate with somebody from the East or somebody from the West, it makes it very enriching. First of all, thank you so very much for your time and your hospitality. And uh, I hope that uh, we will be here at Central Fox again for debating events in the future. Well, you just became, uh, uh, 18 year olds. Uh, mm -hmm. This, I understand, has been 18 years of running this event every year. I think that there's a long, long way to go and hopefully to expand and grow. More and more kids should have this kind of opportunities. Thank you very much. Thank you.